Moron did nothing for Michael Savage. He's no different than the Labor Party. It's the same in America. It's a one-party system playing two-card Monty on the people, flooding their countries with foreigners who will eject them from their own land, erasing their own borders, their own language, their own culture. They are all imposters and they're all traitors, is my, in my opinion. Now, Trump, by the way, has a billion dollars or more at stake at a new resort that he said he will pull. That's what talks. Money talks. I didn't have that kind of money. And I hope that they cave into Donald because that's about the only thing that they might cave into. The truth does not matter to Britain. It's a nation of slaves. It's becoming a nation of slaves living on a slave island. They're enslaved by the liars who run the country. Now let's go back to our country. Hillary Clinton's email server. Highly classified information came out today. You know nothing about it. Latest story. You don't know all of the story. You know nothing about it. All you know are her lies. Play her lies from this weekend on CBS's 60 Minutes, which is a front for the Democrat Socialist Party USA. Go ahead, Robert. And in fact, as the State Department has said, there was no transmission of any classified uh, information. So it's another effort by um, people looking for something to uh, throw against the wall, as you said in the beginning of the program, to see what All sticks. Right, stop with the no cat that ate the cream with the big cheeks and the double talk with the you love yourself voice. According to the latest analysis by the, by the way, independent, the independent inspector general, not a Democrat, not a Republican, according to the inspector general, Charles McCulloch III, she transmitted several dozen classified emails that will be on top secret. Anyone else would be in prison. In fact, General Petraeus was prosecuted and busted for far less than this. If you want selective prosecution in America, then keep voting for Democrat socialist members of the Democrat Party like Barack Obama. If we had a real attorney general and a real president, this would go right to an investigation. Back in a minute. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Organization, isn't it? The Eagles. Now, there's a, a group that provided a product that America loved, right? This is what I'm talking about. You look at a politician, the first thing I ask myself is, what product or service has he or she provided that the world needs or wants? The answer is, for, for most of them, zero. They're full of hot air. Hillary has never provided a product or a service for anyone. Obama has never provided a product or service for everyone. All he's ever done is shuffle papers around and give people the BS, throw the wind, as my father would say. He was good at throwing the malarkey, so he became a senator. And then he was so good at throwing the malarkey that they pushed him up to the presidency. And he was so good at throwing the malarkey that half of the morons in America voted for him again. That's all. Now, Hillary Clinton, what has she provided that anyone ever wanted? Nothing. Inspect Here's a number one story today. Inspector General, remember, that's an independent position. The Clinton emails had intelligence from the most secretive, classified programs, beyond top secret. Petraeus was prosecuted for less. Think about what I'm saying. Number two, Supreme Court has agreed to review Obama's immigration plan just in time for the election. Number three, emails reveal that Clinton aides pushed back against using government email account. Her own aides said, don't use a government email account. Use a private email account. You see what I'm saying? So there's something here that's so bad. Now let's go to the callers on the Savage Nation and all the topics I've raised. Do you think Palin will help or hurt Trump? Me? You want my opinion? Would you rather be right or you rather be smart? Ban in Britain, Hillary's most secret server, and other things that I'm going to talk about. It's one of those... I could be on six to nine hours. I could be like Fidel Castro. All I need is coffee and cigars, and I can keep going. But since I don't smoke cigars or any other uh, cigarette, no other tobacco product, I smoked only uh, between the ages of 18 and 22, and then gave it up. I smoked English ovals to look like a, an Anglo in my old Jaguar. It didn't help me at all. It didn't help me at all. I was still banned in Britain many decades later, even though I drove a Jaguar. 
way back in 1961, a used Jaguar, and affected the British lifestyle, thinking I'd be mistaken for somebody with money and class. But I wasn't, unfortunately. I only passed for white at the time, so to speak. That's an old joke. People of color will understand it and laugh. But here we are in a new America where you don't have to be white to be right, do you? Now suddenly you can be anything you are. And if you're right, you're right. And if you're wrong, you're wrong. Except if you're Hillary Clinton. Where even if you're wrong, you're right. Now let's go to the callers. Let's take the calls in order in which they've been hanging fire. Renee on the internet, line one. What's your topic, please? R Renee, Hi. line one. Yes, go ahead. You're on the air. Hi, Michael. I want to bring up how I think that Trump should run away from Sarah Palin as fast as he can. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. When I saw that this morning, I said, who was advising Donald? What, what is he doing? What, she's damaged goods. What is he doing? I, I don't know. But, you know, as far as I'm concerned, she's had her 15 minutes of fame, and she should go away. First I, of all, yeah, I, but here's the issue. It's not her. Of course, she'll go for anything she can get. That's the kind of family they become. We understand that. Everyone wants, you know, the, 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 the greenbacks. They want to have their own reality show. Well, we've had the Palin reality show for years now. And it's old and it's tired. Now, why is Trump associating with that? I don't know. Who's advising him? This is what worries me right now. Somebody's misadvising him. He doesn't even know who in talk radio is supporting him, and he doesn't know who's attacking him behind his back and then shaking his hand in the Mar-a-Lago club. He doesn't even know that. Boy, I soured on her the minute she resigned from office. You know, remember she had that weird rambling speech that lasted for like a half an hour when all she could have said was, I'm popular now and I'm going for the money. She doesn't give a I don't have to bash Sarah Palin to say this. Her time has gone. It came and went. She's damaged goods. He does not need her. He could have associated with... I'll name three female conservatives. Can you name one of them? Name three female conservatives elected by the Republicans in the last election. No one knows their names because the vermin have pushed them to the back of the bus. The evildoers running the Republican National Committee pushed these women to the back of the bus because no, they didn't want anyone to see them. There is a black lady conservative who was elected in Salt Lake City. Nobody knows her name. There is an Iraqi war veteran elected in, I believe it was Florida. Nobody knows her name. Why is that? Because the RNC has pushed them to the back of the bus. That tells you all you need to know about that party. All right. I, we agree on it. Mistake. Sarah Palin, bad news for Trump. Big mistake. She's not going to help him whatsoever. There are other women, conservative women, who should have been, who should have been picked. To endorse him. What does she, what does he need her endorsement for? Where's her base? I don't know how, I mean, where is her base? I don't know where the base would be. WJR, Jim, you're next up in order on the Savage Nation. What's your topic? Go ahead, please. My topic is that Hillary Clinton has gone way beyond the law. I was involved in uh, maintaining the Minuteman uh, uh, nuclear weapon system in the 60s at Ellsworth Air Force Base. I was assigned a top secret crypto clearance because I had to carry code pages. I have an authenticator number. That number, if written down and if I was caught, I would automatically be sentenced to 10 years in a uh, federal penitentiary like Leavenworth uh, uh, Federal Penitentiary. She went beyond top secret level. Intelligence from a special access program, or SAP, is even more sensitive than that designated as top secret. And two of her emails, identified last summer in a random sample pulled from Clinton's private server, she used the Secretary of State, were SAP. Did you know that? Uh, no, I don't know the uh, the content of her clearance. All I know is that I had to carry code pages, so I was I was uh, uh, researched and uh, my background was all checked. And well, checked. Hillary transferred the most sensitive of the sensitive on a private server. She broke the laws. She broke Executive Order 13526, according to experts, which sets out the legal framework for establishing special access programs. She broke other laws, by the way, according to experts and according to, to court documents. And I will remind the listeners who think that I'm biased, which I am. I am very biased. That's called opinion. All opinions are biased. However, if the opinion is based on facts that you can present, then it's a factual bias. 
And my factual bias says to me that if they prosecuted former CIA director David Petraeus, one of our great American heroes, for sharing intelligence from SAP programs, special access programs, with his biographer and mistress, Paula Broadwell, he was prosecuted because he violated an NDA, but Hillary signed the same NDA on January 22, 2009. Why is she not being prosecuted? The IG broke this today. It only happened an hour ago. The recent attorney, uh, Inspector General letter was just sent to the leadership of the House and Senate Intelligence Committees and leaders of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, as well as the Office of the Director of National Intelligence and State Department Inspector General. Why are they making no comment? This is a very big issue because if they refuse to act against Hillary, it means if we get a Republican victory next year, it means that they can get away with transmitting anything they want to anybody at any time. We can't live in a country like that. Okay, let's go to the next caller. John on WMAL in Washington, D.C. Thank you for calling. What's on your mind? Uh, same thing about Hillary. Um, it's just absolutely unconscionable at this point that she isn't being prosecuted. Any contractor currently holding a security clearance would be thrown out the door, their clearance would be rejected, and they would no longer work in any government job or government-associated job that needed clearance, again, for the rest of their life. My well, John, I, you, you say on the board, it says, usually disagrees with you, but you're right about Hillary. I, I sense that you do work or have worked closely with the government, correct? Correct. Okay, and you may be a Democrat, which is also probably true. But I don't care whether you're a Democrat or Republican. Either we live in a nation of laws or we have a nation of outlaws. And right now we have an outlaw going, running around here, running for the presidency. More or less. I completely agree with you, which I generally don't. But you are. if there is anything the general public can be doing to make sure she gets prosecuted, please tell us. That's the reason I'm listening to you. All right, John. Now, here's the interesting part. You know, when my, sh when my show's heard on WML in Washington... It only began on MAL a few years ago when I moved to Cumulus. And I have a very large audience, almost a 4.0 share, which is very high. Let's not go into what that means. What that means is a lot of intelligent people in Washington tune into the Savage Nation every afternoon uh, when it goes on at 3 o'clock. And they listen on and off for two hours, probably every day. It's not because they agree with me. They Maybe I say I'm too bombastic or whatever. But they say, wait a minute, you know, he guy, this guy brings stuff up I really don't see down here in Washington. It never makes it to the Washington Post. I don't see it on the TV screens. I bring something up that I didn't invent. It came out an hour before the show. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a game changer, as they say. The IG, the Inspector General, Clinton emails had intelligence from the most secretive classified programs. It was published by Catherine Herridge and Pamela Brown. On foxnews.com it's a gigantic story this is a story that must be told this is a huge story and I'm not gonna read any more about it you can read it in many different places would you like to look at the list of Bernie Sanders 20 trillion dollars in tax hikes that he proposes I didn't say million 20 trillion dollars in tax hikes here is a list of Bernie Sanders 19.6 trillion trillion with a T in tax hikes. This came out in the Washington Examiner by Philip Klein and it's 19 trillion. B business health care premium tax, old Bernie the commie 6.3 trillion. Ending tax free status of employer health insurance 3.1 trillion. Wall Street speculation tax 3 trillion. Individual health care premium tax 2.1 trillion. Social Security tax hike, 1.2 trill. Raising marginal income tax rates, 1.1. Corporate offshore income tax, 1 trill. Capital gains tax hike, 920 bill. Payroll tax hike, 319 bill. Death tax hike, 243 bill. Ending tax deductions, 150 bill. Energy tax, 135 bill. Carried interest tax, 15.6 bill. 19.58 trillion dollars in tax hikes by the communist Bernie Sanders, the Lower East Side spritzer, who has spritzed his way to the top of the Democrat heap. Now, you'd be laughing at him in another time, but because Clinton is such a damaged candidate,
and because the Democrat Party is so corrupt that they eliminated the only candidate who was actually